hi guys welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be a little bit shorter but i just wanted to make a video showing you guys how i do this half up half down hairstyle with extensions I posted this photo on Instagram the other day and a lot of people were wanting a hair tutorial here on YouTube. I was going to do like a full get ready with me but honestly I've done this makeup on my channel so many times and I just didn't want to be repetitive. So we're just going to do the hair today. This was the picture I posted and everyone was commenting that they wanted to see it. So I thought I would just make this video. So this is what my hair looks like natural. Um, I washed it last night and just let it air dry. And for the longest time everybody has been asking me if I have extensions in my hair, if I have tape-ins, sew-ins, extensions anything and the answer was always no until now um i've always wanted clip-in extensions i know tape-in extensions would just like not be for me just because my hair is already naturally pretty long like let me stand up and show you like as you can see this is how long it is and it's pretty thick but about like three months ago i cut it i cut it to like maybe like right here and I got a bunch of layers in my hair, so obviously it took away a lot of the fullness in my hair. And I used to be able to do this hairstyle and like a high ponytail, no problem. But after I got the haircut, it just didn't look as good in my opinion because it wasn't as full. So I really wanted some hair extensions that I could just like have in for hairstyles like this. Or if I just want a little bit of extra... Oops. But like no, I don't think I need it on like an everyday basis. So I thought I would just talk to you guys about extensions This video is not sponsored at all in any way shape or form But Bellamy sent me some hair extensions. They were so nice and gave me some and I actually really really love it They gave me a discount code if you use my code cure 10 will get you ten dollars off your first order of clip-in extensions So that's really nice And I really wanted to talk to you guys about extensions just because I'm new to it obviously and I feel like you guys could give me some tips and I just love talking to you guys about stuff that I genuinely really love. And I know I'm filming like a tutorial type of video, but I'm still not the best at like blending my extensions and hiding the tracks. With this hairstyle, it's really easy to hide them, but like I know they're sometimes showing when I have my hair just down like this. So just keep that in mind. I feel like I'm always just filming makeup videos and not really focusing on my hair. So I thought this would be kind of fun. And I get a lot of questions and DMs about this. How I always like put heat on my hair and how it's still so healthy. So if you guys want like a whole dedicated like hair care video, let me know. That's not what this video is, but this is more like about extensions. So when I do this hairstyle, obviously you're going to need a hair tie. Or you can use a scrunchie, whatever you want. And then you're going to need a brush. I love the wet brush. Like I said, I have really, really long hair. And wet brushes are like the only brushes that I can use. Especially because I shower at night. So it's really nice for when you're brushing your hair after you get out of the shower. And then this is like one of my most commonly asked questions. Is what type of curling iron I use. This is the one I use. I actually got it at Beautycon like three years ago. Maybe two years ago. I don't really remember. But this is the Sultra. I think this is a one inch barrel. Um, I also also have it in one and a half but I like the one inch barrel better and this is the one I typically always use when I curl my hair next something very important for hair extensions or clip-ins or whatever you're definitely gonna need some heat protection spray this one's from rock your hair this is hot curls thermal curl spray it looks like this I thought I actually didn't have any heat protectant so I was like oh I can't style these extensions until I get some but I found this in my hair drawer and I'm really happy so this is just the one that I had and then obviously you're going to need your extensions. Um, I have them in the 20 inch length and they color match me perfectly. Like it's crazy. Okay, enough of me rambling. Let's get on to the hairstyle. Let me plug this in. First thing I'm going to do is part my hair in the middle. You could always do a side part or whatever you like, but I kind of just eyeball it and do a middle part. And I do this because I'm going to take two little sections out in the front to frame my face. Since my hair is layered, so I kind of just take like that and I kind of eyeball it and then I'm just going to take these and clip them so I look a little crazy but next I'm going to take like about this much hair because this is going to go on top and I just kind of separate it that way I can put in the extensions no problem we're going to worry about this later so I'm just going to take a scrunchie and section it off okay so now I'm just going to brush out the bottom part and now we're going to start adding in the extensions so first off I start off with a piece that has three clips and I asked Lauren for help because I felt like I was doing it wrong and she always wears extensions. And I used to put the four on the bottom rather than the three. But for me, like being a beginner, it really helps if you put like a three, then a four clip, then a three clip. You'll see what I mean. But start off with the three on the bottom of your head. So before I put it into my head, I like to just brush it out and then add in the heat protectant. Just so I make sure like this has heat protectant on it. Just make sure it's all smooth. And then I just clip the extension like directly above that. 
I don't know if you can see because I'm filming this by myself, but it should kind of look like this. And then I'm going to unclip this section. And then I'm just going to kind of repeat that step again. And then like I said with the 343 three thing, I'm taking an extension with four clips. And then I'm just going to repeat that same exact step. And then it should look like that. Okay, scratch that. I'm not going to add in a third one. I'm just going to go in with the twos. If I'm doing my hair not in this hairstyle and I just want to have it down, I'll definitely do 343. Three. But now I just have two of the two clips and I'm going to add these on the sides. Heat protectant and I'm going to brush it. So as you can see, there's like a track like showing right here, but we're going to cover that with this part of my hair. Then last extension. <laughs> So I just stood up to show you guys, but as you can see, this is what it looks like with the extensions in pre-curls with the half up, half down. Obviously, it makes my hair a little bit longer, like my hair is definitely not 20 inches naturally. It makes it look a lot more full, as you can tell, it definitely did not look like this before I put the extensions in. And I don't add any on top at all, so. Now what I'm going to do is start to curl the bottom hair. So before I do, I just do like one little... Last spray of heat protectant. So when I curl my hair, I just like to take about this big of a section and I take the curling iron and just wrap it around like so. And I hold this for about like 10 to 15 seconds. Sometimes the curls come out better than others. Some days they're just like not really there. Kind of depends on the day. And they should look like that, like a nice little beach curl. Another really commonly asked question when I do my hair is how long does it take? Without extensions and having to put them in and curl those pieces and everything, I could probably do my hair in like 15 minutes. But with extensions, it might take a little bit more than that, like 30 minutes. So it kind of just depends on the day. Like as you can see, this curl came out way different than the other curls. So, And I don't really care if the curls kind of turn out different than one another because it makes it look more beachy and I'm going to shake it out anyways. And then I just repeat that on both sides. So I'm going to curl my hair from the front to the back and just keep flipping it over. And then I'll put this in a little time lapse and I will show you guys what it looks like at the end. And then we'll move to the top part of my head. This is what I start off with. Um, if I want to like re-curl any pieces or add more curls or mess with them, we're going to do that after we do the top. Okay, so now we're going to work on the top. And this one, I'm not even going to lie to you, takes me a couple tries. So I start off by fully brushing out the hair, making sure there's no knots because if there are knots, I will have to cut the hair tie out. And now I'm just going to tie it and I like to wrap it around the hair tie like around three times. It looks kind of funky, but we're going to curl it. So for the top of my head, I kind of just take sections about the same size as the bottom and do the exact same thing. Last but not least, I'm going to curl the little two front sections away from my face. Yeah, that's what it looks like obviously because the hair is like here on the sides it covers the tracks and then when you put it in the back then this is what it looks like from behind i love this hairstyle it gives me major ari vibes and i just think it's so cute and i love having extensions for this it seriously for me makes the biggest difference if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already join the bee family i would love to have you a part of it and let me know if you want to see any more hairstyle videos from me and i will see you guys in my next video love you